Hi gang, I'm Patrick from CSNB and welcome to the show. I am a little sick, I'm coming off a cold. I just got back from Arizona, go figure. I missed the snowstorm here in New York and I catch a cold in 80 degree weather over in Arizona. How nice. Um, so I'm on my way to work, about to leave the door and uh, lo and behold, Amazon arrives with a sweet little package for me. Now guys, I'm sure you've all seen this box before. Uh, maybe you're familiar with the box, but you might not be familiar with what's inside of it. I guess I can do a wristwatch check for you guys that I'm thinking about it. I have my uh, Seiko SNL017, uh, Saturday Night Live 2017. Um, I believe that's the model number. It's a kinetic chronograph. Pretty sweet. I don't know if I've talked about it on the show. We'll talk about it on the show. And I'm cutting open this box with some uh, Westcott titanium scissors. This is in my everyday carry. Um, so this is something I picked up on a whim. Um, we did a little his and hers exchange for Valentine's Day. Uh, this is the day after, for those of you watching this. Uh, but this is the day after Valentine's Day. And me and my girlfriend exchanged Casio G-Shocks. Guys, I haven't had a G-Shock in years. I think I was eight the last time I had a G-Shock, so, well, 18 years ago. Um, so I'm really excited about this. This is a newer model from them. It's a heathered G-Shock. I'll let you guys see the color I chose in a second, but I believe there are eight color variations, everything from white to gray to black to red to blue to yellow to green. I don't know if I'm missing anything, but um, I got... Ooh, this is really fun. Uh, so you guys can see what's in here. A uh, neat little Casio G-Shock box. Uh, top half held the manual, which I'm going to need to read uh, because there's a lot of functions in these guys. I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory, but we'll look at that in a second. Y'all don't want to see that. Maybe you do. I'll do a video on reading the manual. Uh, but inside the box, we have... All right, take some guesses down below in the comments as to what you think I got. Let me see if I can get that exact serial number for you. I think it's GDX6900HT. And then there's one final digit that uh, signifies which model it is. Uh, but mine is the GDX6900HT00 yellow. That's right. Um, so yeah, I bought this off Amazon, guys. It happens to be my favorite color, and it happened to be the most affordable one. Thank you. Because Lord knows I've been spending a lot on watches. And I'm sorry I didn't do an unboxing of my Grand Seiko. I know some of you guys that are subscribed to the channel know I got one. Um, if you haven't found that out, I've been posting pictures of it on our Instagram, so feel free to follow our Instagram. It's the same name as the show here, Clock, Sock, and Barrel. Um, there's also a link to it on our homepage. Uh, but feel free to follow us there if you would like to share some photos or see our photos. We get new watches in all the time. That's why we decided, started, decided to start doing these unboxings. At any rate, guys, ah, oh, this is so cool. I have not owned a G-Shock in so long. Wow. Yes, the first G-Shock I owned was blue. I think it was like ice blue with uh, white accent colors. I forget the model. Again, I, didn't, I probably didn't care back then. Oh, this is so gnarly though. I love the 6900 look, and this to me is what a G-Shock should look like. Um, the th awesome part is they come in so many different flavors, and you can interchange the straps, so far as I understand. Of course, it's this whole proprietary strap system um, that Casio developed, so you have to buy their straps. Or maybe there's, um, maybe you guys can leave a comment down below if there's uh, converters. I think I saw little converter links for the end so you can fit NATOs on here, the 20 millimeter NATOs, um, which was an idea I had, but I think I might rock it in all yellow for a good while. Nope, nope, time is not accurate whatsoever. I'm gonna fix this up. Maybe I'll do a review. I know it's not um, our usual fare on the channel, but if you guys want to see us discuss Casio and their G-Shock series. I know Adam has a couple of G-Shocks. This is my first in a while. I'd love to give you my opinion as to the build quality nowadays from what I recollect from my past. And anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today for this monumentous moment. Um, I hope to see you guys on more episodes. Take care.